<laughs> so, um, I've got Jo Augustine here with me here today, and Jo is a pretty special person in our community because she is the principal of Carrie Land School. And Carrie Lands is a large primary school, large by my standards, because yep. the schools I went to only had a few hundred people in them. Yes. Um, and probably large by West Auckland standards. Yes. Um, I think we're actually one of the biggest schools in the country. There you go. Yep. One of the biggest schools well, in the, the country. So, um, While retaining its community uh, feel. Yes. Very nice <laughs> community. Absolutely. It's gorgeous. And we're all a little bit silly out west because we, um, we do it differently out west. And we there's... Um, it's very much about getting, um, connecting with our community um, leaders, in your case, Joe, and um, we see a lot of children in our practice, and so therefore a lot of parents as well. And I often get asked, you know, how can I, how can I help my child learn? How can I help my child in school? Yeah. And um, in chiropractic, we know that there's a strong connection between movement and getting the body moving properly and therefore brain development or yeah. um, cognition. Mm -hmm. And um, so a lot of the homework I get children to do is silly things like get on a swing, um, practice your balancing. Uh, we have a little exercise called Superman where they have to balance on a Swiss ball. Right. And these are all designed to stimulate. Oh, I know the Superman. I know yes. that from the gym actually. There you yes. go. Yep, I like that. We're That's familiar with one. Superman. Yep. And stimulating parts of those brains that will then help the learning yes. coming in later and fantastic. what are your views on movement and learning? Um, the two are integrally related um, you know we see the I see the evidence of children who are um, I guess more sedentary yes um, as opposed to the children who are active um, as a staff, we're committed mm -hmm. to our children being active learners, um, and so every single day we encourage our children to uh, take part in, at a minimum, yeah. they'll, they'll be taking part in fitness for about 15 minutes, but Great. also most days they'll be doing some kind of um, physical education, swimming something up on the field, um, on the courts, using the hall, um, and that can take you know, many different ways of um, involvement for the children um, with a big focus on participation, not sitting on the sidelines. Absolutely. So, the, like so the games and the, the activities we do are more, you know, everyone's involved rather than, you know, the old days. I remember when we used to play softball and things like that, you know, you'd spend, you know, Three minutes up at the up, up with the on with the, the plate. bat, yeah, and then you know you spend fifty minutes sitting on the sidelines. So, yeah, um, yeah it's big focus on yeah. involvement. Um, something else that our school particularly are lucky to have is a sports activator. So he is employed by Cody Lands, yes. and he's also employed by um, five or six other schools in the west. Um, and he's called a sports activator, and we're very lucky. Ours is, her, ours is, his name is Simon. He's just done the coast to coast this weekend, oh. so we're still waiting to see <laughs> how he went. Um, and he comes in. He he is funded through Sport Atakari, and yeah. we also part fund him, being part of our um, staff. Um, so he particularly works with. Um, well, he works across the school, mm -hmm. um, but he particularly his focus is working on children who are not keen to be involved. Interesting. So that's yeah. another way. So through the different terms, we focus on different mm -hmm. things. So like for this term, for example, because it's summer, he will be working with reluctant swimmers, people who are great. Right. And um, he also works with children, um, you know, a lot, a lot of sort of um, gross motor skills. Yes. That, you know. Across the board, he, he's kind of involved in a lot of different ways. Absolutely. Yep. So I've, I've certainly noticed a link uh, with children who do tend to have learning difficulties later on. They usually get picked up around the six, seven, maybe eight mark. Absolutely. Um, it's interesting. If we go back, we notice that they were poor developers to begin with. 
typically. Um, so those gross motor movements, that um, learning to crawl, um, yeah. learning to move very initially, yeah. um, often has been missed. Mm. So it's interesting. It is important, isn't it, to move? Super, mm. super important. Yeah. Now we really, um, we know you've just started last week. The, the two, this is the third day into day the year. Day three. Yes. Um, you must have some. Uh, we want to know what makes a great learner, and what are you excited about going into the new year. Great learners sleep. sleep. Oh my there gosh, go. sleep <laughs> seriously. We just, you know, I mean, Tired of course, at this time of the yeah. year when it's hot in the afternoons, mm. the, best, the best of us are drowsy. Mm. But you know, there are some children who it's really obvious who are staying up. What some parents may consider is not is not late, but actually these children are needing more sleep to be able to function. What would be a good time to go to sleep? Well, I mean, it varies from mm. age group to age group, but um, I would say, and it's difficult as well mm. with daylight saving, and I mean, I yeah. understand because I had children who wouldn't go to sleep yeah. until it was dark, but I would always have attempted to get them into bed by eight at the latest. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, with our, some of our senior kids, they'd be nine. Yeah. But... I know for myself, I like to be in bed by yeah. nine thirty if I can. Yeah, um, yeah and so you know, sleeper. getting good yeah. sleep, um, food, yes, nutrition, um, energy. Um, our, we encourage um, our in our school. We're a water only school. Yes. Um, so you know, frequent hydration. Mm -hmm. um, we have brain food at the school, so it, it's right. a snack in the mornings at about nine thirty, usually after fitness. Yeah. So the children bring, um, you know, like a piece of cucumber vegetable yeah. or a piece of fruit, yeah. and so they have like a mid morning snack like Fantastic. that to kind of keep keep the brain going. Yeah. That's yeah. called brain food, and that I mean that's. All the children have it in year one and two, and yeah. then it's sort of a choice thing going up to year six. Um, but yeah, those th can't be can't be underestimated. Absolutely. The importance of you know sleep. enough sleep, the basics, sleep it's just the and basics. good food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As far as um, what I'm excited about yeah. this year, um, that we have what's always our aim: happy, healthy children. Yeah. Um, that we have a you know, continue with a fantastic community. Community yeah. spirit here is amazing. Our yes. year sixes have gone on camp today, and we let any parents that want to go, go. So we've sent off about 50-odd parents, <laughs> which is amazing. When it you think is about amazing it. for that, and that I mean, commitment. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's a lot of parents taking time off work mm. and, you know, making other arrangements. Yeah. So parents are fantastic, really want to be involved with their kids mm. learning, and that's, um, I mean, I've taught at schools all over Auckland, and this is, something special it is school. special isn't it i mean yeah. i'm biased because my children came here too but really um an amazing school yeah and that's the essence we get back in the practice we see a lot of our patients are also coming to um this school and they they're a beautiful bunch of kids mm, yeah. uh we've got two two of the year sixes actually um going off on camp this week so we know all about it oh yes they will, they will have kept you high, kept you yeah, very informed absolutely yep. oh well that's exciting yes we're excited about the year to come to and funnily enough part of our purpose statement or our, our mission is happy healthy families so oh, funny that. yeah and our, yeah, yeah very similar actually yeah yeah um, but thank you so much. I know you're a super busy woman. I no came problem. in here this morning. It's like a beehive. Um, all these busy, busy little beavers working away. Very happy environment. Um, and we're thrilled that you could share your time with us. And we hope Our to pleasure. hear from you again. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Joe. Yes, okay, thank you.